Investigators say a child suffered years of abuse. His stepmother and father are both charged in connection to this. Today we learned new information about what police say happened as they appeared in court. Local 12's Christian Hauser is here with the latest on the case and what the prosecutor had to say about the victim's father, Christian. Kyle and Paula, Amy and Anthony Dangle were asking the judge to set a bond amount so they could try to post it and get released from jail. Now, as this move or released from jail as this case moves forward. Now, the defense attorneys for each say Amy and Anthony are both firefighters and well respected members of the community and they should be granted that low bond. When it was time for the prosecutor to plead why they shouldn't, she didn't hold back about why, why she felt they both should remain behind bars. Amy Dangle's attorney, Ed Perry, says this is not a case of abuse. He says Amy and Anthony were actually trying to help the child. I believe that this treatment and the involvement with Jobs and Family Services will ultimately show uh, a very, very different picture from what has already been reported. But Hamilton County Assistant Prosecutor Jennifer Deering sharply disagreed, saying the boy suffers from PTSD and has long-lasting damage to his legs. From not feeding him, beating him, making him stand in a corner for hours and days on end, leaving him with little to no clothing, forcing him to wear the pens because they wouldn't allow him to go to the bathroom, not giving him shelter as far as um, bed clothing at night, uh, beating him with a spoon, and all of this took place while the other children are in the home. She goes on to say they hope the damage to the victim is reversible with treatment. Anthony was up next for his bond request. Deering didn't hold back when she was asked about the boy's father. She says she finds him even more reprehensible than Amy because Anthony didn't protect his son. Which is his moral and ethical duty to protect your child and he failed and there's no way he can't know what was going on in that home when this child would stand for hours and days on end and quite frankly the officers told me the child looked like he'd come out of a concentration camp that's how malnourished and small he was i talked with a spokeswoman for hamilton county job and family services and asked if jfs was involved with this child she said jfs does not comment on any cases involving criminal charges the prosecutor also says that the children's school tried to contact amy about reports of abuse but amy pulled the kids out before anything could be done kyle back to you all right christian such a difficult story for us to report on tonight I want to let you know that child lived in the home with his father and stepmother because his mother is deceased